Question number one. I have my notebook, but I forgot my pencil. Can I borrow yours? Question number two. You bought me lunch yesterday, Ken. So, shall I buy our movie tickets tonight? Question number three. Do you know how to get to the new city hall? I've only been to the old one. Question number four. This pasta I made isn't enough for five people, so I'll make sandwiches and salad too. Question number five. The season's changing. See, the leaves are falling. Question number six. Our dog always sleeps by my brother while he plays video games. It's so cute. Question number seven. The white fan is the slimmest, but the black one is the cheapest. Hmm, which to choose? Question number eight. So, what does your cat look like? He's gray with black stripes. Could you describe him in more detail? He has a long tail. Oh, and its tip is white. Question. Which is the man's cat? Question number nine. The girl holding the book looks like you. Actually, that's my best friend. I'm in the front. Ah, you're the one with the hat. That's right. Question. Which girl in the photo is the woman? Question number 10. Can you look on my desk for a white envelope? Is it the large one? No, it's smaller. Can you check under the computer? Yes, here it is. Question. Which envelope does the woman want? Question number 11. Can I reserve a private room for six people tonight? Sorry, it's already booked, but we do have two tables available in the main dining room. Do you have a window table? We sure do. Question. Which table will the woman probably reserve? Question number 12. I'll have a large cup of hot tea. Certainly. That'll be 400 yen. But you can get a 30 yen discount if you have your own cup. Really? I didn't know that. I don't have one today, but I'll bring one next time. Okay, great. Anything else? No, thank you. Question number 13. I'm thinking about buying a piano. I've really been enjoying my piano lessons. That's great, but I don't want to disturb my neighbors when I practice at home. How about getting an electronic keyboard? You can control the volume of the music or even use headphones. That's a good idea. I'll get that instead. Question number 14. I'd like to buy a jacket this afternoon. Have you ever been to a second-hand shop? No. I went to one last week. You have to look around, but you can find some good bargains. That sounds like an adventure. Can you take me now? Sure, let's go. Question number 15. The moving company is coming soon. I thought that was later this afternoon. No, they'll be here in an hour. I'm putting everything here in the living room into boxes. Can you help me? Okay, I'll just finish packing up the bedroom first. All right, I'll keep working in here then. Question number 16. What will you do tomorrow? I'll visit my grandfather's horse farm. I'll go riding and then take a hike. Would you like to come? Sure, but I'll just take photos of you riding. I'm afraid of horses. Well, okay. After that, we can go hiking together. That sounds nice. Question number 17. Did you finish your homework? Yes, it took so long. Why? We just had to read two pages from the textbook. What? I thought the assignment was to write a report on our experiments. No, we were only told to read those pages for homework. Oh, I didn't do that. Questions number 18 to 21. We went to Midori Mountain Amusement Park yesterday. To start off, we purchased some limited edition souvenirs and put them into lockers. Then we dashed to the recently reopened roller coaster, but the line was too long, so we decided to eat lunch instead. After lunch, we saw a parade marching by, and we enjoyed watching that. Finally, we rode the roller coaster before we left the park. Questions number 22 to 25. Here's your schedule for this year's summer classes. Monday and Thursday will begin with social welfare classes. Immediately after the Monday social welfare class, you'll have math class. On Tuesday and Friday, you'll hear lectures about ancient Egypt and the Roman Empire during first period. These lectures will be followed by business studies on both days. On Wednesday, you'll have biology first period and second period will be environmental studies. Finally, after social welfare on Thursday, you'll have your French or Spanish class. Question number 26. One. It would be fun to have a bowling game as our group's activity. Everybody loves bowling, and we can prepare the game using free, recycled materials. We'll only need eight people working at one time, and games can finish within 15 minutes. 2. How about doing a face painting activity this year? I think we can finish painting each person's face in about 30 minutes. And the theater club already has face paint we can use. It will take all 20 of us to run the whole event. 3. Let's have a fashion show for our activity. We can do it for free by using our own clothes to create matching looks for couples. Visitors can be the models, and 12 of us will work during the show. The show will be less than 20 minutes. 4. I think having visitors experience a tea ceremony will be fun. Each ceremony will take about 10 to 15 minutes, and we only need seven people to work each shift. We will just need to buy the tea and Japanese sweets. Questions number 27 to 32. This afternoon, we are going to talk about the unique characteristics of glass and recent innovations in glass technology. Glass does not release any dangerous chemicals, and bacteria cannot pass through it, which makes it suitable for storing food, drinks, and medicine. Glass can also be cleaned easily, reused many times, and recycled repeatedly, making it friendly to the environment. A surprising characteristic of glass is that it doesn't break down in nature. This is why we can still see many examples of ancient glasswork at museums. Glassmaking began in Mesopotamia roughly 4,500 years ago. Beads and bottles were some of the first glass items made by hand. As glassmaking became more common, different ways of shaping glass developed. One ancient technique uses a long metal tube to blow air into hot glass. This technique allows the glassblower to form round shapes, which are used for drinking glasses or flower vases. Spreading hot glass onto a sheet of hot metal is the technique used to produce large, flat pieces of window glass. Today, new technology allows glass to be used in exciting ways. 3D printers that can make lenses for eyeglasses have been developed. Smart glass can be used to adjust the amount of light that passes through airplane windows. Other types of glass can help control sound levels in recording studios or homes. Moreover, tiny pieces of glass in road paint reflect light, making it easier to see the road at night. Due to these characteristics, glass can be found everywhere we go. Our first group investigated the use of glass in some European countries. Group 1, go ahead.
Question number 33. Given the choice of buying a product in a glass container or a different kind of container, approximately 40% of Europeans choose glass. Our group researched why. Reasons include food safety, ease of recycling, and availability of products. We focused on the following three countries, Croatia, the Czech Republic, and France. Let's look at the information in detail. Questions number 34 and 35. Jack, did you know that there's a ferry from England to France? I've always wanted to see the English coast from the ferry. I imagine it would be so beautiful. Hmm, but I thought we should go by train. It'd be much easier. Come on, we can also smell the sea air and feel the wind. That's true, but actually, I get seasick whenever I travel by boat. Oh, I didn't know that. Have you tried taking medicine for it? Yeah, I've tried, but it never works for me. I know you want to take the ferry, but... It's okay, I understand. Well, I suppose it is faster to take the train, isn't it? Yes, and it's much more convenient because the train takes us directly to the center of the city. Also, the station is close to the hotel we booked. I see. It does sound like the better option. Great. Let's check the schedule. Questions number 36 and 37. For my New Year's resolution, I've decided to start doing something healthy. Do you have any good suggestions, Amy? Good for you, Chris. It's important to find something that you won't give up easily. I also want to do something, like walking, for instance. Chris, why don't we walk in the morning together? That sounds good. Haruki, do you want to join us? Sorry, I started running last year. It's tough but refreshing. Linda, you exercise a lot, don't you? Yeah. Recently, I've been trying super short workouts. One workout takes only 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Linda, is that enough? I need at least an hour to feel satisfied. Yes, super short workouts are really efficient. You just need to push yourself extremely hard for a short time. Why don't you try them too, Chris? Yeah, now that I think about it, walking takes too long. But I could easily spare 10 minutes for a workout. That way, I'm definitely not going to quit. Amy, would you like to try the super short workouts too? It sounds interesting, but I prefer more moderate exercise. So, I'm going to start walking to the station every day. It's only about 30 minutes, which is fine for me. Okay, so Linda, can we work out together? Sure. How about this Saturday? It'll be fun.